Hi and welcome to element Z3, the human circulatory system, the function of the heart. The heart is a powerful muscle that is situated between your lungs, protected by the rib cage. The heart pumps blood to the lungs to get oxygen. The heart pumps the oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. Terms Aorta Pulmonary artery left Left pulmonary veins Left atrium Left ventricle Right ventricle Right atrium Aortic valve Aorta how the heart works. Let's go through each stage of the process. Right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonic valve, pulmonary artery, left pulmonary veins, left atrium, left ventricle, aortic valve, aorta. The function of the lungs. Functions of the lungs. When we breathe in, inhale, the intercostal muscles contract and the diaphragm pulls down, making the chest expand. This causes air to be sucked into the lungs. The intercostal muscles and diaphragm then relax and the air is pushed out of the lungs. Exhale as the rib cage falls downward and inhale. There is a boomerang shaped diaphragm here. Okay. So when you are inhaling, your lung, your balloons expand, your muscles contract, but of course, because you are using the space and therefore your diaphragm is going to come down. But when you exhale, your balloon, that is your lungs, they deflate. Therefore, the whole lung shrinks. You see the size between them? And that is how your muscle is now relaxed and your diaphragm is relaxed as well. So this boomerang shape, what you're seeing in between this is where the diaphragm is, that also relaxes. The function of the lungs. Air breathed in through the mouth or nose travels down the trachea through the bronchi into one of the lungs. The air travels into the bronchioles and into the air sacs which is called alveoli so if you see your air that you have breathed okay the one which you have breathed in through your mouth okay or your nose any of the channel it travels down to the trachea okay this spring shape what you see is your trachea and then you have this channel the bronchi okay which has more diffused or you can say branched uh, branched bronchioles and that is how from the bronchi it goes to these bronchioles and finally you have a lining of your blood and everything which is there you have these air sacs to that okay whatever you're breathing these air sacs are called alveoli since we saw that alveoli is the one and I mentioned about the bloodstream. So this is the bloodstream that I mentioned. And when you breathe, what happens? First, let's read. Then I will explain in detail. The oxygen is absorbed. The oxygen is absorbed into the blood through a layer of moisture in the air sacs. That's alveoli. Carbon dioxide in the blood is transferred back into the air, which then travels back to the lungs. 
So since you see a bronchioles here, okay, these are the air sacs, you have the blood communication and veins they are showing you. So when you inhale, that is the time you're giving the oxygen to your blood, okay, these are your red blood cells, okay. When you give the oxygen, whatever the carbon dioxide is, or remember how you feel tired, but when you breathe, you feel relieved. This is the time when your carbon dioxide is going out, okay. So it enters, the oxygen enters from the channel and carbon dioxide exits from the channel here. That is how all your alveoli contribute to breathing. What blood vessels do? Arteries carries oxygenated blood away from the heart. Capillaries enable exchange of oxygen with body. Veins carries blood from capillaries back to the heart to be pumped to the lungs to be reoxygenated. That is how your blood gets purified. By reoxygenated means it is being purified. Thank you for staying tuned. Do like, share and subscribe. Till then, take care. Thank you.